So Anthropic just released a new AI model called Cloud4 and of course this is the successor of Cloud3.7 Sonnet. And by the way, this model comes in two variants which is the Cloud Opus 4 and also the Cloud Sonnet 4. So there is the Sonnet and then there is also the Opus version which is a bit higher than Sonnet but if you look at the benchmark scores, they are very much similar. So what I like about Anthropic is that they're not trying to be good at everything. They're trying to be good at one thing, which in this case, Cloud is very good at coding and some agent decoding behavior. So some people that are using Cursor reported that they love using Cloud4. And I think uh, this model is going to be very useful at creating application or a website by just prompting, also known as pipe coding. And I believe you're using Cursor, Replit, Windsor, and many others. This model should be available directly on the IDE. Now, uh, despite being good, or at least despite trying to focus on coding, Cloud4 is still very good at other purposes. So you can still use it to ask some complex questions, do some math, and of course, if you're using perplexity, you can use it for research. So to use the Cloud4 model, you can click on the model selection and then select Cloud4 Sonnet. But if you want to get a more detailed answer, you can go with Cloud4 Sonnet thinking. So this is a reasoning model from uh, Tropic. And I think it's very useful if you want to get a very, very deep into the topic. Now, I, don't, I haven't done uh, too much tests about Cloud4, but I tried creating a simple video game using this prompt on Cloud.ai. And yes, by the way, uh, this model is available on Cloud.ai, so you can use it for free. It's not exclusive to some third-party tools. You can use it directly on the official Cloud.ai website. So this is the game that Cloud4 just created for me. And of course, this is completely playable. I'm trying to create a video game that is similar to Super Mario. And this is the result. And I would say from the look of it, it's much, much better compared to ChatGPT. Yeah, by the way, I was using the same prompt again. And as you can see, it's not even a video game. I can only move left to right. And that's it. There's no challenge. There's no element at all. Just some pinky block. And that's about it. And I tried creating the game using Gemini, again, using the same prompt. And I'm using the Gemini 2.5 Pro, and this is the best model from Gemini at the moment. So this is the result, and I would say it's a bit better than ChatGPT, although there are some logic that doesn't make any sense. For example, there is this box, this question mark box. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be floating somewhere at the top, but here I cannot interact with it because the only way I can destroy the box is by punching it from the bottom but in this case it's basically impossible so i think if you look uh, at the result objectively cloud 4 sonnet is much much better than both gemini and chat gpt so uh, if you want to use this model for free you can navigate to cloud ai and i believe again this model should be available on various uh, third-party tools including perplexity cursor windsurf and many others so uh, that's basically it about Cloud3, uh, Cloud4.0 Sonnet and uh, Opus. So if you find this video to be useful, if you want to see more AI news and tutorials in the future, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.